Have you ever wondered what the hell that whistling noise is coming out of your tools sometimes? Well, uh, frothers, uh, get a it's uh, bolted down under here, back of the bench, and um, I reckon I might be able to shed some light on that for you today. So I'm using this particular tool because it has a very pronounced whistle. But I just got this so I don't want to pull it apart. Luckily, or unluckily I guess depending, uh, the Garage Fairy still haven't reassembled my little uh, Makita 12 volt uh, HR140 from the brushed versus brushless video. So I figure uh, I, can, I can just use this thing. So the magic that makes a lot of modern devices work, even brush tools like this, is a thing called pulse width modulation. And uh, I got this little oscilloscope here. So this is a real cheap, real cheap, nasty one. Uh, usually oscilloscopes have screens and knobs and stuff on them, but this is a little PC based one. So uh, I, got, I got it connected via USB to my computer just here, and I can show you uh, what the waves are actually looking like on this. Basically, this is an instrument that shows you what the electrical waves uh, look like, like what shape they're taking, you know, like a sine wave or a sawtooth or whatever. And uh, basically, this is a DC tool, so the power coming out of the battery here, if I just touch the oscilloscope probe to the uh, terminals of the battery, you'll see the line just jumps up. And that's just because it's getting straight DC current. There's no shape to it. It's just going up and, you know, that should be uh, around 12 volts, that level that it's going up to. And uh, yeah, all good. So if we take a look at the signal going into the motor here, so I'll just start the motor off slow. Oh boy, okay, look at that. We got all these spiky things going on. Just zoom in a little bit. All right, so, so that's not DC. What the hell is going on here? Well, it's a bit of a messy signal, so just ignore these uh, frilly bits at the bottom. Uh, just pause that there. And basically what we've got here is a bunch of square pulses happening. Square-ish, I mean, this is not a very clean signal or a very good oscilloscope, uh, but we got square pulses going basically from zero up to whatever that is, and then back down again. And then if I rev the engine a little bit faster, and they got wider, okay, so they're getting wider and wider. And then they, uh, they eventually just join up into one big line. Uh, and that should be basically up where our straight battery signal was before. All right, so what the hell has that got to do with this noise? Well, as we saw, the PWM driving signal goes from zero to full voltage and then back again many times a second. And so every time one of those little bangs of current goes through, uh, you know, it goes through the, the, the windings in the motor, uh, those electromagnets and excites them. Um, and then that's basically causing them to vibrate every time that current hits. So you end up with a sound or a vibration uh, at the same frequency that that PWM signal is, is shooting through there. The switching on and off happens at a really, really high frequency. It's got to happen so fast that the motor doesn't notice that it's being switched on and off. It's got to run, as far as this thing knows, as like a nice average voltage. So it runs, uh, a lot of the time these run at about five kilohertz, so that's 5,000 up and downs uh, per second. And if we listen to this again, I reckon that's about five kilohertz. So that's kind of in the, around the middle of our hearing range. And in fact, if we just uh, duck over to here to this uh, online tone generator, we'll set it to five kilohertz and see what that sounds like. All right, pretty close. I think that's about it. So anyway, that is the basis for that sort of weird sound that the, a lot of these electrical things make. And so, you know, it's not just tools, it's also chargers and stuff like that. Um, because PWM is a super useful technique. So I don't know how well you can hear that one. And so, you know, your chargers, your, your battery chargers, your USB chargers, stuff like that. That also makes this kind of noise because it's got a couple of layers of PWM going on in there too. 
First, it's got to invert the AC, the alternating current that it's getting from the wall plug. Uh, and then it's got to drive that current as DC uh, into, your, uh, into your batteries and stuff. The principle is the same, that a lot of these things now are going to be running um, by getting a transistor that just switches on and off really quick to do some PWM type stuff and that will change the average voltage going through the system. Alright guys, well uh, I think I've solved the mystery of why the hell these things make these weird squealing noises. So uh, anyway, thanks for joining us. Hope you found it interesting and uh, I will scratch you later. Yeah.